Damn, it's been a long day for me. I'll just play a clip of Fushong. <laughs> Ridiculous remarks. Goodbye. Well, hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we'll be talking about who, to, who you should go for between Kafka, Imbibita Lune, and Fushong between the two of them. Obviously, the Topaz and Jing Liu that are coming up, but there's not enough information for them to me to discuss them. So, that'll be like in a future video. But between the three of them, who you should go for is really a toss up of what you need or what you want or what you like, basically. But also, these characters are very strong. They might be very worthwhile to get because, for one, Kafka is like the best driver for DOT in all of Hong Kai Star because she just amplified the dust reaction so much that basically she can do like 100k damage without even trying and all you really need is a sample any type of dust unit with break effect and really she will wreak havoc and by the Lune is considered to be one of the strongest DPS in the game because for one of her restrictions of using 3 skill points so his damage will be very high. The only caveat to him is you need to find a way to play around his skill points. But realistically, if you can work around that, his damage will be ridiculous. And Fu Shang is like one of the best um, units for sustain because for one, for what she offers and for the fact that we're not really guaranteed to get your part and Lu Watcher gone. So if you didn't get Lu Watcher, Fushan really will shine because sustain is very valuable in the game. Fushan is such a great option because she gives crit rate, she reduces damage, and increases your max HP. So basically, squishy unit that you three might get one shot in on floor 10 by BS mechanics. They might live a hit because they're more tankier than usual. And honestly, Fushan is just insane. So lead three units are just insane. And if you can get any of these three units, honestly, you are chilling for real because uh, I'll be honest, uh, Kafka will be the best driver in the game. And even though damage dealers can get power creep, or not power creep, more like they're probably something we do more damage. In Bible to Lunate, damage is so massive because that's a skill point restriction that you need to use three. So if you can work around that, hit damage is actually disgusting. And as I said for Fushan, like to sustain is sustain. It's very valuable to have if you don't have the uh, water and you only have Nastasha. So yeah. And if you are free to play player, it kind of will be kind of challenging to pick between them because realistically you can either get two of them or just one of them because I'll be honest, even though you can probably guarantee yourself one five star per patch because you get a lot of gems for every new update which is very nice, you deny enough that you can get back to back to back five stars for each banner so you have to be very smart on what you do and watch for who you want for or wish for who you need so like let's say I have so much damage dealers, but yet I don't have enough sustain because my team too doesn't really have any type of sustain and keep getting one-shotted by mechanics and it's annoying because I don't have another heal or sustain, then I would recommend Fushang, but if the opposite said, like if you have the sustain, but you don't have the damage, you can go for Kafka or Invival Lune. Or if you want to play around with DOT damage and want to play with that type of playstyle, I would say go for Kafka because she will be the best driver for DOT. The only caveat is you might have to build a, a team around it because if the unconventional team than your traditional damage dealer team. But yeah, like so many scenarios can happen because every account is different. People want different things. People want to try different things. Like it really is a hard decision. So. If you're ever struggling on who you want to, or who you should pull for, ask yourself this question. Who do I need? Like, what will help me improve the account? Or ask yourself this question instead. What do you want to have fun with? Or what do you like visually? Like, do you like Kafka because she's mommy? Do you like Dong Hong because you like his lore and you like how cool his water dragon is? Or you like the visual looks of a character and play style that you would go for that unit to regardless on how they perform in a meta ask yourself these questions and if you find with any of those options if you need a character if you want a character if it can help your account if it can help you proceed or you just want it because that's your wife or husband though ask yourself these questions because realistically it's just a game and don't take this game seriously but also don't make any bad decision that will hurt your account or let's say you pull for a character because they're meta but you don't like them. Because especially for a DPS, don't do that. For, don't pull a damage dealer for the damage, you'll pull them for your character because even though you can use the best of the best, you can use whatever character you want to beat the hardest things in the game. 
because at the end of the day this is a hoya verse game these games are never hard they may give you some type of challenge but realistically it's not so much of a challenge where you need the best of the best so you let's say if you like genuine he's not really considered to be the best of the best anymore you can make him work and he can beat moc with ease you might take the more investment on using something like blade or kafka but he can get it done so that's what i have to say do what you want but don't do anything dumb and with all that said i think that's all for today's video i said everything i wanted to say so with all that said thank you so much for watching this video i do appreciate if you made it far let me know if you made it far and i'll hot your comment i appreciate the support let me know what i should do next and also let me know what you guys think what i have to say you agree with me disagree let me know down below because at the end of the day i'm not gonna kill you meh probably might kill you so comment and we cut all this up but anyway final thoughts is have fun do what you want which for you want which or which for you need and don't regret your decision and with all i said take care love you guys and i'll see you on the next video goodbye <laughs>